Corn chips is absolute chaos and it's such good fun. Yet again we have Chip and Dale winding up Donald because they have been done wrong by Donald. It starts off with Chip and Dale cleaning the snow path on their branch at the same time that Donald is cleaning the snow path outside of his house. And Donald uses this to his advantage by moving Chip and Dale and having them accidentally clear out his entire driveway of snow. Chip and Dale decide to get revenge by sneaking into his house and stealing his box of popcorn. And of course, Donald is angered by this. We have the very classic scene of Chip and Dale running off into the distance with something that belongs to Donald. That features in pretty much every Donald versus Chip and Dale short. And in this one, of course, they're running away with a bowl of popcorn. And for about six minutes, we basically have Chip and Dale running away with the popcorn, Donald stealing back the popcorn, Chip and Dale returning back with the popcorn. And it's chaos. It's back and forth constantly. There's popcorn flying everywhere. It's really good fun. I will say that the animation is both massively intricate, because obviously the popcorn pieces are really small. And there are so many of them that... You know, if it all would have been done by hand at this point, definitely a lot of attention to detail with regards to the popcorn pieces. Oh, and my favourite bit, the acorn or pine cone. It's a pine cone that's underneath Dale. Absolutely loved that moment. I wasn't expecting it. But I will say there's also, uh, there are some moments where they kind of overlooked the popcorn. For example, it's kind of snowing popcorn. And then it cuts to Chip and Dale and then cuts back to Donald. But there's no popcorn on the ground. So while it's fallen, they've kind of forgotten to let it settle on the ground. So there are a few moments where I think they put a lot of detail into the actual pieces of popcorn. But because there are so many bits of popcorn, they're not necessarily in the right places where they're meant to be. Yes, that's me overanalyzing it. But it's the first time I've ever kind of noticed that with the Chip and Dale short, where it's quite chaotic and they've actually overlooked some things. But, you know, brushing that aside, it's a lot of fun. It's completely all over the place in a way that's very fun and completely unpredictable. <sighs> Donald gets so agitated. I love it. I love Donald Duck. But I love to see him getting frustrated because it's so funny. Um, Clarence Nash is just absolutely brilliant at the voices of, of um, Donald Duck. I assume it's James McDonald and Desi Flynn who are voicing Chip and Dale in this one. I will double check that. Um, okay, I can't double check that. Yes, I can. It is J it's James McDonald and, and Desi Flynn. I don't think Corn Chips is my favourite. Definitely not my favourite Chip and Dale or Donald Duck short, but I really liked it. I thought it was a really fun concept. Um, you know, very detailed, very chaotic. It will certainly keep you on your toes wondering who's actually going to end up with the popcorn. Because it's usually Chip and Dale who win, but not always. Certainly a brilliant episode directed by Jack Hanna and a lot of fun.